here we are talking about the mass problem solving. Mm -hmm. I'm Maria Drushkova. This is Rodi Staining. And uh, Rodi, you lead an awesome mass circle. I'm following your stories, right? Mm -hmm. You put the stories uh, uh, online of, of how meetings meet. Um, yeah. What, Rodi, so um, what would you say are your dreams about mathematics and children? Um, my dreams are for kids to be excited about math and to enjoy math and to know that math is not just knowing how to use algorithms and have a bunch of um, arithmetic facts memorized by rote. So, joy and, um, and, and more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, joy, you know when you see it. Um, what is more? What, when you say mass is more than algorithms, what do you mean? Well, in math, particular, are, are you asking me to define math? Oh, <laughs> that's a bit uh, of a big conversation. I rather would ask you, what is important there for you in math? What do you dream of that is beyond algorithms? Um, I guess curiosity, looking for connections, looking for structure, um, looking for meaning in things. So uh, it's it's not just knowing structure; it's looking for structure. It's the process of uh, looking. It's a desire. The <laughs> desire to look. Yeah. Okay, so what's what's important for you, for kids, is that they want to look for structure. That yeah. They, that they seek these bigger mass ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can you make it happen? Some kids do it, some don't. Can, can you cause it to happen? Yeah, I guess that's a good question because I'd like to cause it for... Because some kids, it just happens more naturally and it's fun and they already have that desire. But for others, they they don't have that desire or or they do... Ha I think they do have that desire, but I don't think they realize that that desire is math. And I don't know if they can um, access their joy in that. Mm -hmm. I think that um, a lot of kids are fixated on the idea that there's a right way and a wrong way and there's a right answer and a wrong answer and there's only one path to get to it. So, Rodi, uh, you believe that the mass desire and the mass joy is inside of people already, everybody. Yeah, I do. But in some, it is latent, so to speak. It's not, they don't know they have it, they don't act on it. Yeah, in a lot of people, I think it's latent, and in some people, it's been sort of quashed. It's been quashed. So, so it is possible to quash this, to, to suppress it. It's also possible to invite people I assume to express it, right? Right. What do kids find inviting in your experience? What? What do? Oh. How can you can you invite them? Th those who who are latent, you know, who don't do it already. Um. I think by giving them interesting questions, by giving them things that they want to think about to give them things that are mysterious or fun or dramatic. Um, so that's one way. That's not the only way. Um, I think sometimes some 
some questions are just so interesting that they don't need even to be um, to be dressed up or um, or um, given a lot of background for background history, that kind of thing too. Sometimes I think can can get kids to um, access this curiosity. Sometimes to feel a need, I guess, to feel a need to look for structure mm-hmm. or to, to, to give kids information that makes them see how something can be important or relevant. So, so some ways, and I, I assume you want to do it and that's a part of your dream, right? <laughs> to, to make it happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I always felt that and it's, I think it's wonderful. So I want to share, I want to share that. You want to share your wonderful feeling that you have? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and, and the seeking, so, so you say sometimes it comes from the problem, sometimes from the background and sometimes from connections to something else that's important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I want, this is a nice uh, taxonomy there you, you just explained. So kind of uh, some people find interest just in problems themselves. Some in how come people make up, made up this problem, how come yeah. it came to be. And some people connect the problem to apply it, so to speak, or value its important importance for, for other aspects of life. Yeah, and I think, too, one thing that just struck my mind is that um, some people approach things different way. If we're just talking in mathematical language, some people really kind of get things visually, and some people really get things very abstractly, and some people get things very numerically, and some people get things very like logically or verbally. And I think if we can give kids different avenues to approach the same problem, that can access, help kids access this um, looking for structure if we can um, make them or or just give give them a chance to see that there's different different ways in and they don't have to do it just this through this one modality um, even so, some things you know physically and kinesthetically just there's so many ways I don't even know what they are right so so the, one of the goals of this course is to see how the same problem can be done in these different ways. Yeah, that's exciting to me. It is. It's exciting to me too. It's. Um, I can't wait to see what different people, different kids, different leaders do. Mm. So let's see. Just when you adapt the problems and invite the kids you can think about these modalities so they can open up different ways and mm-hmm. about connecting the problem to different aspects of life. As you said, I think the problem we selected are interesting, but no problem is interesting to everybody. Right. So maybe kids or you can change them to be even more interesting to themselves. Mm-hmm. And uh, then to connect to what they they are interested in, and to well, I um, I think we can connect it to some background as well. Th- these are the things yeah. you named mm-hmm. is important, but modalities uh, and uh, working like modeling it with the body, telling a story of it, drawing it. Right. That's, that's a big part of it. So different kids would do it differently. Okay. Yeah. So this week we are planning. That's, that's the goal is. Um, I sent out the email and it's on the forum um, with a thread. Yeah, uh, if you want to check. If you go to Ask Mobius Noodles, mm-hmm. 
um, as a forum. Do you know oh. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. So on the right panel, there is a link to the course. Okay. Can you send me a link to that right now? Sure. Second? And I can just click that. I can just click on most that. definitely. Okay, the quickest way. Let me just see it. So, if you if you go to the if you go to the ask a uh, panel, and I am just sending you the link right now in Skype chat. Okay. So if you go to the panel, um, to, to the right panel, there is a link to the course. Okay. How do I bring up Skype chat? Does it? Oh, you mouse over the bottom of our picture and there is a little chat bubble. Oh, there. I see it. Okay. So if you click it, it comes up. Okay. okay so now I see this. Now I'm, now I'm on the, um, the, the list of all the questions. Right. So this is the list of uh, the questions beyond the course. It's a general forum. Mm -hmm. So on the right, there is a link called MPS MOOC 13. So mathematical problem solving oh, massive online that. course. So if you click okay. that. Okay, I see that. Mm -hmm. If you click that, uh, the course comes up, just the course questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them is, how do you plan to do problems okay. one, two, three? Mm -hmm. uh, so if you click that, you will see um, the questions. And that's the task for this week, the course task. Okay, I see it now. Mm -hmm. I think I'll uh, put a, uh, it's due July 7th. Okay. by the end of the week. So I think I'll put the due date there in the question so people know. Well, and what it, what is due? A plan for how to adapt them? Yes. So if you scroll down, you'll see some people submitting the plans. Um, okay. So so I see here somewhere there's a PDF that I should click on to see the actual problems. Right. You can download it and it has uh, problems for different so far, we only adapted by age, not by modalities as much. Or uh, we, we have some uh, suggestions on how to do things, how to change things. Okay. But the goal is here for course participants to adapt. Got it. So, for example, you'll, you'll see what uh, Denise did uh, for her uh, mass circle. She, she has a little play group this summer mm -hmm. so so um, she had to adapt it for the park because they're meeting in the park uh, okay. for the outdoors okay so just as an example okay mm -hmm. got it makes sense so that's what we'll do for the next few weeks we'll look at three sets of problems like this and adapt them okay and then next week, uh, the goal would be to tell the stories. Okay, so, went. so number one is to read the problems. Number two is to make a plan for how to adapt them. Number three is actually to do them with some kids. Mm -hmm. And then number four is to report back. Right. And will I get some kind of an, an email prompting me to report back? Or is there somewhere else on the website here where I just automatically type in a report? it as soon as I'm done doing it with the kids? Uh, Rodi, have you done, um, if you go back to the link I originally sent, uh, I, you, you re responded to the four questions already. Yes, I did. So everybody who responded is added to this, uh, to, to this ask, and you should be receiving emails from it. Unless your spam filter is eating them. I, I am. I've been away, so I, I'm like 400 emails. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they're somewhere. And also twice a week on Monday and uh, on Thursday, you get a newsletter from Moby Snoodles, the whale. Yes. And it says uh, MPS MOOC 13 Observer. So I'll send one today. You'll get a fresh one. And at the top, it says all the assignments with okay. links to them. I don't think I've gotten one of those yet, but I could be wrong. If you signed up after you haven't, uh, I don't 
I've seen one that says MPS Observer, MPS MOOC Obser Observer. Hmm. So um, let me give you the exact title, um, the exact title of it, so you can um, search for it okay, in your thank email. You. Um, so um, the problem may be with the filter. Okay, so the last one um, was on July 1st, of course, on Monday, and it was called, right here, Problem Groups 1, 3 in the Course Space. So that's ex the exact title I just put in chat. But I think if you see a search for MPS MOOC 13 Observer, okay, it may bring it up out of the list of emails. Okay, thank you. I will do that. If you can't find it, let me know. I'll resend okay. it so you can train your spam filter not to okay. eat it. <laughs> you can fish it out of the spam and tell the filter it was not spam. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, that's a part of what we are doing in this uh, voice conversations that I'm trying to help people set up. Because mm -hmm. not all of these things work for everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, almost everybody has to set something up uh, for the system because <laughs> spam filters, what not. Um, okay. Are you finding things? Um, hold on two seconds here. Let's get there. Sorry, I didn't have my email. Wait, uh, no, I'm not. So I, I um, typed into my email search MOOC Observer, just those two words. Uh, um, did you okay. did you type MPS MOOC 13, the whole thing? Oh, no, 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 okay. All right. Usually mine finds things that are even portions of words, but I could be wrong. 13. Oh, it is there. Okay. It's definitely there. I think it couldn't find the portion of this word because it's a made up word. Okay. So it doesn't know Probably. how to. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'll go into those then. Okay. So these are kind of the uh, official summaries. Got it. And uh, they come every Monday and Thursday until the end of July. Okay. So another one will come today and uh, it will help. Okay. Now, is the goal to do three problems per week? Right. Okay. So next week, we're doing the first three problems. Okay. This week, we're just planning. Planning. Got it. Next week, we're doing the next three problems and planning the next three problems. So next week there will be two things to do. Okay. Sounds good. And the week after that there will be three things to do because we'll be analyzing the stories. Okay. That people share. Okay. <laughs> so my hope uh, is for us to, to get data together to do a, a pilot study of, of what people do, do to adapt the problems. My, okay. my hope it will help new leaders of clubs and circles and parents, just everybody with their dreams. <laughs> That's my Thanks. hope. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Rodi, uh, do you have other questions about the course content or anything about how we do it? No, I don't. Nothing comes to mind. I'm, I'm excited to see the problems and <laughs> see what I can do with them. Okay, well, uh, I'll leave you to the problems and to exploring them because okay. you enjoy that. I do. <laughs> I do too. So it was a good adventure for me and continues to be this whole course for okay. the same well, reason. Th thank you for, for organizing this. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you for coming. I'm okay, very much looking forward to your stories. Okay. Well, okay. I will um, talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.